Unraveling History's Biggest and Most Mysterious Discoveries. Have you ever discovered something mysterious that fascinated you? Something like idols of a complete army buried into the soil? Maybe, or maybe not. So today, you will learn about Unraveling History's Biggest, Most Mysterious Discoveries. The Rosetta Stone The Rosetta Stone is a granodiorite steel inscribed with a decree issued at Memphis in 196 BC on behalf of King Ptolemy V Epiphanes of Egypt. The decree is written in three scripts, Historic Greek, Demotic, and Hieroglyphs, making it a necessary key to understanding the historical Egyptian language. A French soldier discovered the Rosetta Stone at some stage in Napoleon's invasion of Egypt in 1799. It was subsequently surrendered to the British under the terms of the Treaty of Alexandria in 1801, and it has been housed in the British Museum in London ever since. The Rosetta Stone performed a pivotal position in decoding hieroglyphs, as it furnished pupils with the key to unlocking the historical language. The Dead Sea Scrolls the Dead Sea Scrolls are a series of Jewish texts dating to the Second Temple period observed between 1947 and 1956 in the caves close to the Dead Sea in Israel. The scrolls include spiritual texts such as biblical manuscripts, prayers and commentaries, as well as secular texts associated with daily life. The discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls was a fundamental breakthrough for students analyzing Judaism and early Christianity as the scrolls furnish insights into the religious beliefs and practices of Jews residing in the Second Temple period. They additionally shed light on the improvement of the Hebrew language and the historical context in which the texts were written. The Dead Sea Scrolls are considered to be one of the most necessary archaeological discoveries of the 20th century, and they proceed to be studied and analyzed by scholars around the world. The scrolls are housed in quite a few institutions, such as the Israel Museum in Jerusalem and the Shrine of the Book at the Israel Museum, where site visitors can see some of the most well-known scrolls on display. The situation of researchers on scrolls is like you own a bike but lose one hand. On this PJ, subscribe to Discovery Unraveled and press the like button. The Terracotta Army The Terracotta Army is a collection of sculptures depicting the military of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China who dominated from 221 BC till his demise in 210 BC. The military is made up of hundreds of life-sized terracotta warriors, horses, and chariots buried with the emperor to defend him in the afterlife. The terracotta army was discovered in 1974 with the aid of farmers digging a well close to the city of Xi'an in China's Shanxi province. The discovery was one of the largest archaeological finds of the 20th century, and the military is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The terracotta warriors are distinctly detailed, every one with special aspects and expressions. They have been created using a mixture of molds and hand carving, and have been painted with shiny shades that have faded due to exposure to the air. Machu Picchu Machu Picchu is a historical Incan castle positioned in the Andes Mountains of Peru. It was built in the 15th century and abandoned quickly after and remained hidden from the outside world till its rediscovery in 1911 by Hiram Bingham, an American explorer. The fortress comprises more than 200 buildings, including temples, palaces, and houses, all developed from large stones that had been expertly cut and geared up collectively without the use of mortar. Machu Picchu is also acknowledged for its difficult terracing, allowing the Incas to cultivate plants on the steep mountain slopes. The Tomb of King Tutankhamun the tomb of King Tutankhamun is one of the most well-known and well-preserved tombs of ancient Egypt. Tutankhamun was a pharaoh who dominated during the 18th dynasty from 1332 to 1323 BC, and his tomb was determined almost intact by British archaeologist Howard Carter in 1922. The tomb contained over 5,000 artifacts, along with Tutankhamun's sarcophagus, which held his mummified remains as properly as furniture, jewelry, 
jewelry, and other non-public possessions. The most well-known artifact from the tomb is the golden funerary mask of King Tutankhamun, which has become an iconic image of historical Egypt. The Nazca Lines the Nazca Lines are a sequence of ancient geoglyphs located in the Nazca Desert of southern Peru. They were created by the Nazca culture between 500 BCE and 500 CE, and had been particularly a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994. The geoglyphs comprise thousands of large-scale designs, including animals, humans, and geometric shapes etched into the floor by removing the dark-colored rocks and revealing the lighter-colored sand and clay beneath. Some designs are over 600 feet long and can only be fully favored from the air. Today, the Nazca Lines proceed to fascinate and intrigue site visitors from around the world, presenting a glimpse into the historical lifestyle and beliefs of the Nazca people. The Voynich Manuscript the Voynich Manuscript is a mysterious book dating back to the 15th century written in an unknown script and containing illustrations of plants, astronomical charts, and other odd drawings. The manuscript is named after Wilfred Voynich, a Polish book supplier who bought it in 1912. Despite numerous attempts to decipher the manuscript over the years, its contents remain a mystery. The script seems to be a special language with no recognized relation to any different language worldwide. Some theories advocate that it could be a structure of code or cipher, while others consider it could be a hoax or a complex work of fiction. The Voynich manuscript continues to captivate and intrigue pupils and beginner sleuths alike. It is housed in the Beinecke Rare Book and Manuscript Library at Yale University and stays one of the most enigmatic and unsolved mysteries of the literary world. The Shroud of Turin The Shroud of Turin is a centuries-old linen cloth that bears the faint picture of a crucified man. It is believed by some to be the burial shroud of Jesus Christ, even though its authenticity has been the problem of much debate. The shroud measures 14 feet long and 3.5 feet wide and is housed in the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist in Turin, Italy. It is stated to undergo the faint outline of a man's face, hands, and feet alongside numerous different markings and stains. Many scientists have tried to study the shroud over the years using a range of methods to decide its age and origin. Some have cautioned that it dates to the time of Christ, while others consider it a medieval forgery. Despite the controversy surrounding its authenticity, the Shroud of Turin stays a giant religious relic for many Christians and continues to be studied and debated by scholars and scientists around the world. The Antikythera Mechanism the Antikythera Mechanism is an ancient Greek analog computer that was located in 1901 on the Greek island of Antikythera. The system is believed to date returned to the 2nd century BCE and is regarded as one of the most widespread archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. The mechanism is made up of at least 30 bronze gears and was used to calculate astronomical positions and cycles inclusive of the actions of the sun, moon, and planets. It is believed to be the earliest acknowledged example of a complicated geared mechanism, and its discovery has shed new light on the stage of technological sophistication in historical Greece. As the video comes to an end, we will meet again with a new video, and until then, turn the red button to gray by clicking on it.